Prahlad Adwani will be here shortly and a whole lot of other people who are involved with this show this year. Uh, we would have begun on time, but ladies and gentlemen, traffic, other reasons, I'm sorry we're late. But we have to start, so we've shifted the show floor a little bit from here to there. And we begin, well, the first person who comes on stage really is a huge dog lover. He's always come at the shortest uh, notice. Uh, I really need to apologize to him for that and tell him that next time on, we're going to be more particular about the way we invite him. Uh, it was a terrible 2016, what with Mitro, the lack of money in the pocket, and what have you. Uh, 2017 promises to be the year of the videographer, from what I've been told. Uh, so, uh, he's, a, he's actually a fellow anybody uh, strikes me just now. Cyrus Brocha, ladies and gentlemen, to start the show this evening. My God, in defense of him, geez. Oof, he's so tired. I've just spent a lot of time in the kennel. How are you guys doing? Want to say hello? Hi, say hi, come on. Hi. Just like the school, I love it. Hello, ma'am, take your time, don't worry. We're all here for a good cause. Take your time. Uh, when I'm on stage, I request you all to keep your phones on because I would not listen to me. So I just, I just find it ridiculous. So just keep your phones on and do your own thing. It's not a problem when I'm on stage. And uh, let everybody come in. Normally, we make fun of them, but I'm not Nasir or Anupam Kher, uh, both animal lovers. Uh, some like uh, animal lovers from one religion, from, from the other religion, but that's life. Is that wonderful about our country? I was just thinking that uh, you, how many guys here are dog lovers? How many people are dog lovers? Almost all. How many cat lovers? How, how many prefer dogs to cats? Okay, that's a strange thing, you know. Even here we have a caste system. <laughs> We've corrupted the world with our, with our thoughts. Manu has done this. So even now we look at it and we say dogs, number one. Then cats, number two. And then you go lower down. What about the lizard? What about the mouse? What about the cockroach? How many, body, how, how many people like cockroaches? In defense of animals, ladies and gentlemen, you hypocrite people! How can you do that? I love cockroaches. They're wonderful people. Cockroaches don't ban people from entering the United States of America because of their religious bent. Cockroaches don't join a group of people who blow up people in Europe for no reason whatsoever, including women and children. You know, cockroaches don't cause you to have laws that cause death and uh, pain and in intrigue and anguish and hatred and above all, nuclear proliferation, they would not do it and they would survive it. So, cockroaches, the best in the world. Give them a big hand in defense of cockroaches. Thank you for that appallingly poor clap. My God, eat pedigree, you monkeys, you'll feel better. Yeah. Let me now tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm, uh, my dad is Parsi, my mom is Catholic, and I was raised uh, to believe that human beings are always second to dogs. We're a huge dog family, and I, I didn't know this was not perhaps correct in other cultures. Because when I grew up, my dad, we used to have this old Fiat car, I don't know if you guys remember that, you know that Fiat car that looked like a Morris? So, uh, huh? The Dukkar Fiat. Yeah, the Dukkar Fiat, whatever you want to call it. So my father would lie and act like, oh, this is a British car, British car, bloody crappy little thing with that small, I remember, the, and the top gears and everything, and you know, and you, you press the brake here and it would stop in the other, that kind of thing. So he would drive the car and my first taste of what I thought was normal is, uh, how many Bawas, how many Parsis? Right, there you go. So you're familiar with words like MCBC, right? Especially when you're driving. Bench, munch, bench, bench. So my dad is full of that while driving a car. So as a six-year-old, I think that's normal because Indians still haven't understood that the road is for the motorist and the pavement is for the pedestrian. Still not done. Uh, I don't know why the British didn't explain it or maybe the, uh, it was Gupta civilization who messed it up in the beginning. I mean, it's not clear. Uh, I can't say more until the government changes. Can't get into it in detail. But we do have a big issue when it comes to simple things like pavements and, you know, people just walk. Have you noticed how they do it? And they walk like terrorists. They back you while you're driving a car. So it's your problem. Kill me if you want to. It's your problem. That's it. So my dad was full of, I won't say the words because this is a lovely family and some of the family members have turned their back to me for some reason. And it's a lovely back man. Doberman? Oof. Okay, so uh, he would abuse a lot, and this is amazing thing is, uh, can I use one, one or two bad words? Because I have to explain it properly. So my dad with his cigarette, he bit, yeah, he used, you know, there was a time when cigarettes were cool. How I miss those days. Yeah, my father with a cigarette, you know, and he would never, I can't think of my dad without a cigarette. He always had a cigarette. He had a cigarette in the bathroom, in the bedroom. You know, I, I think he forgot his wife, but he never forgot his cigarette. He never. 
So he had the cigarette in the car and an idiot would be walking by and he'd go, Hey, Chuck! Take care, take care, hey, Chuck! Loudly. And then a stray dog would come in the middle of the road. He'd stop. So courage, Dikra. I know, I know, I know, I know, take your time, take your time. And behind the Punjabi Sharmas are going, Hey, Chuck! 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 Doggy, chai, doggy! <laughs> Nobody could move till the dog took his time and walked across because my dad said, here comes the Brahmin. We all wait in line for the Brahmin. Including you, Sharman, wait in line at the back. So I learned very important lessons at that point. And then I learned lessons later on from dog owners because of the class system in India. We are dog owners separated from our dogs. We hire people to look after our dogs. How many people have dog walkers who are not family members or poor cousins? You do. So you hire people and they actually walk the dog and you do uh, the thing which Bollywood actors do. At the end of the night you come and they meet their children, ah, well done beta, well done betty, and they never see them again. So you do the same thing with the dog. Am I right? You pat him twice and that's it. And so unfortunately Raju has to walk the dog. And then you do this terrible thing of giving Raju a name to hold on his shoulders and walk the dog in public where he meets people like me. So I've been patting dogs and let me just give you three examples all true. Back in the Oval Maidan, back in South Mumbai, where somewhere next to my house, and a lovely Labrador used to come with Raju, and I would pat him, and I'd say, what's his name? Sir, doggy ka naam GS. Six months I called him GS, thinking, wow, initials, how cool is that, GS. One day, the mother, the, the wife or the owner, she comes on a Sunday, and I'm going, GS, come Baba, come Baba. Excuse me. Come GS. Who are you calling? Your doggy, GS. It's not GS, it's Zeus. Zeus, the Greek god Zeus. Raju is going to handle Greek mythology, moron. You call your dog Tommy Biscuit or Moti because we can't handle names in India. Oh, come on. Then we had this other dog, a lovely, lovely Pomeranian, one of the few friendly Pomeranians who didn't bark your, your ears off. And the fellow would come and say, Doggy ka naam? Huh? Water. <laughs> who names a dog Water? Turns out the dog's name is Higher Water. Higher water, and Raju's left water, water, water. But the best one, the best one, true story again, big bull mastiff, and uh, the fellow who walked him would say, Snigger, Snigger, which I thought was a slightly suspicious, but it does sound doggy like Snigger. Turned out the name was Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger! Snigger! Poor Raju, what can he do? First, he can't say bull mastiff. Oh, English doggy, English doggy. Uh, Europe, Europe doggy, that's the best. What a world we live in, class, community, religion, all exposed by animals. Anyway, I'm going to stop now uh, before we go on. I first want to thank everybody on a slightly more serious note. I get this, all, all animal lovers, I suppose, right? And two relatives who had to turn up, but the rest are animal lovers. We get this question a lot. Why do you like animals, why not humans? I think you must spit on the person immediately. Because spitting is allowed in Indian culture. There's no person in the world who will stop you spitting on another Indian. It's normal for us. It's a greeting, it's a way of life. If they say, why, why so much animal, animal, animal? Uh, why not humans? You just go poo, straight on them. Okay, because like you and like me, we have known both. They on the other hand have only known humans. Okay, we've known both. We know which is the noble one, which is the majestic one, which is the wonderful one, and which is the bloody two-legged scumbag that, well, some of us are. So never ever feel bad. Let me tell you, the fact that we care about these poor people who nobody cares about, and by people I mean animals, shows that we actually have a lot of heart. So never, never feel bad about that. Don't let them guilt you. All right, when they say, why don't you do more for HIV? Why don't you do more for cholera? Why don't you do more? Don't worry. You do what you do. And your heart tells you to look after animals, and that's what you're going to do. I am starting, please congratulate me, the first JS, Janwar Sena. We will mutilate and beat people up. On every occasion you show us people mistreating animals, my boys will come. There are lots of hoodlums in India. Lots of them are coming to the Janwar Sena. If you want to join us, remember religious and uh, communal issues are not an issue. Anybody, any type can join the Janwar Sena. All those in favor of Janwar Sena, hands up. It used to be called Parsi Sena, but we have so few left. <laughs> Move it to Janwar. All right. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I, before I hand the mic over, I want to also thank Kayozi uh, Irani, who's brought us all together here. He's a wonderful young man. I've seen him since he was a little puppy. Now he's a now he's a bit of a, a mastiff himself, if you see him around and how he's grown. I want to thank this young man, who's an Alibag friend, and all of you. I salute you. I bow to you. I thank you. And I, I think my daughter wants to just say a quick word. Uh, she's just turned 10. She's the biggest animal lover in the Brocha household. 
She constantly fights with uh, people who pull children away and say, don't touch dogs. She's become militant and vicious. I'm so proud of her. Uh, I've written like a short speech about dogs. But really shorter. Huh? <laughs> we shouldn't torture dogs. They are meant to be loved. And if you have a real relationship between you and your dog, they will sacrifice their life for you. It doesn't matter which breed your dog is. It doesn't matter if your dog is big or small. They don't care if you're clever or dull, smart or dumb, rich or po poor. They will always be there for you. They will always be your best buddy. To all my dogs in heaven, I will love them forever and they will too. No matter wh where you are, no matter how fa far apart, they will always love us and hopefully we will too. Thank you. Ooh. My daughter or yours? <laughs> All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're a wonderful audience. Thank you for supporting animals. Never ever feel bad to fight for animals. It's the only thing worth fighting for. And I hand you back to my favorite Dalmatian. <laughs> Thank you, Cyrus. Yet again, ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause for Cyrus Joshua. Well, uh, the journey has been five years, and this is the first time we actually have somebody professional who's going to perform with us. And we really could not think of any be anybody better than Taufik Qureshi. Uh, yeah. Taufik, uh, I'm sure a lot of you do know about Taufik. For those who don't, well, he actually comes from one of the first families of uh, Indian music. His brother, incidentally, is playing a few kilometers away at uh, Chambur with Kala Ramnath. I'm a huge fan of Zakir Baiz, as most of us in this audience are. I'm a huge fan of Tofik's as well and the family. So, ladies and gentlemen, Tofik Qureshi, Grammy Award winner. He performed with Zakir Baiz in 2009 in this album on percussion. I think it was with Remember Shakti. I'm not really sure on that. Uh, he has done ground path breaking work with the Jembe. He's absolutely the fusion maestro. So, I hand it over, ladies and gentlemen, to Tofik Qureshi.